It's time to put on your blue suede shoes and don that sequin jumpsuit. The King is back as the magic of Elvis takes the stage for a special benefit concert. Our entertainment expert, Alan Lyle, has the details in tonight's edition of Stage and Screen on NBC 15. If you're looking to take a nostalgic trip, no better way to do it than in the 1958 Edsel. If that trip, though, is down memory lane, how about taking it with Don Hinton? Or should I say Elvis? Don will be performing Friday night at the Holiday Inn downtown to benefit the Mental Health Association of Southwest Alabama. But every once in a while, uh, a good cause will come up, and they'll 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 drag me out of the closet and dust the dust off of me, and we'll start a little uh, CC rider and, and raise a few dollars. Don's good at this too. He delivers a very high energy, fun filled show. A true entertainer. But it wasn't always like that. I was the kind of kid that uh, couldn't go to the blackboard, you know, and, and, and I was so shy. Uh, shy to the point of illness. And uh, I started doing Elvis at uh, talent shows. And read them. The doors opened. Kay Burns screamed for me once. And that was it. I said, this is the road. I stopped taking my violin list. <laughs> I had a lot to put up with at first, you know, practice, and we had a, for the house we lived in, we had a middle room, and he had all his equipment in that middle room, see, and there were other rooms around it, and then when he was practicing, we heard it all. And his dad would say, make him quit that for a while. <laughs> Don's wife has been a major contributor to his success. After all, what's an Elvis impersonator without costumes? Didn't have nothing to do. He wouldn't let me go to all his shows because it would cramp his style. So I sat at home and just tried to figure out the different things to make him look good on stage. This one, one was one of my last ones, and that took me 80 hours just to paint all that stuff on and eight months to, put, to finish it, the, the rhinestones and stuff. What more can I say, but you just can't help falling in love with Don Hinton. For Stage and Screen on NBC 15, I'm Alan Lyle.